guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I am Deneen and this is Design by Denine. Today I'm very excited to be collaborating with my friend Kimo from Kimo Craft. If you like modern boho style decor, you are going to love Kimo. And if that's not enough, he also has a very cute dog named Kubo. I have a link to Kimo's video as well as his channel in the description box below. Please be sure to go over and check out what he's made for you today and tell him that Deneen sent you. Today I have a trifecta of modern black and gold decor that I think you're going to love. And the bonus part is, it's all made from Dollar Tree supplies. So without further ado, let's jump right into the first project. I originally planned on using four blocks for these candlesticks, but ended up only using three. But no worries, I'll find a spot for that lone block. Once your cubes are painted gold, you're going to tape off two opposite sides so that they'll remain gold. Just a note that when I first filmed this, I was originally going to leave a stripe around the cubes, which I decided, ultimately decided to omit. So ignore the stripe and just tape off two opposite sides of the cube. Use a straight edge to find the center of the cube. To do this, put the straight edge corner to corner on the gold side of the cube and make a small mark with a pencil and make a little cross and then use a Sharpie to find the center. Now you just look through the hole in the center of the bead and you're perfectly centered. If you wanna skip this step and you're comfortable eyeballing it, you go right ahead. To ensure that the cubes lined up straight, I pushed them against a ruler while they were drying. I also used a clamp to hold them in place. To make the top, I used these wooden panels that I got from the Dollar Tree. They were a bit too long, so I cut them to size. I just measured an even amount on each side, leaving a bit of overhang so that the square top piece is just slightly bigger than the cube. And as always, I used my handy dandy T-square that I used to measure all my right angles. I used my miter shears to cut them, and I have to tell you, these things are awesome, but honestly, I should have bought a more expensive pair. The ones I bought are kind of low end, and you can tell. So if you buy them, buy the more expensive ones. I'll link to the better ones in the description box below. And I just used a sanding block to make the cut end nice and smooth. I used a piece of thin craft ribbon to outline the edges so that it's similar to the black and gold cubes. Trace the outline of the small square bead onto what will be the underside of the top of the candle holder. This will make it easier to properly center it onto the top.
This is the back side of a piece of Dollar Tree wrapping paper. This is just to help keep my pattern straight. I also added two rows of double-sided tape. This tape is also from Dollar Tree and this is just to help hold things in place while the glue is drying. So I shot from this overhead angle just to give you a better view of what the pattern was on the vase. Turns out it doesn't work well to glue round sticks with slow drying glue onto a curved surface. They tend to fall off. But here's a quick overview of the pattern we're using before I turn the vase onto its bottom. So the pattern consists of three gold dowels with a tumbling tower block in between. Line the first one up with the top edge of the vase. The second dowel lines up with the bottom edge of the vase and dowel number three lines back up at the top edge of the vase giving you this pattern. Then we add our black coated tumbling tower block in between the gold dowels. This is where my wrapping paper backing comes in handy to help align the placement of the blocks. The best way to apply the glue is to put the E6000 directly onto the glass and then just before you put the dowel on, add a little bit of hot glue in a couple spots. And that will hold the dowel in place while the E6000 is drying. Once I had all the pieces glued in place, I wrapped a piece of paper around it before taping it with masking tape and leaving it overnight to dry. This way it doesn't peel off any of the paint finish when I remove the masking tape. When you're all done, clean up any little bits of glue that are sitting on the glass. Now I'm going to take the leftover block that I had from my candlestick and I'm going to use it to make the base of the vase. 